What will be my newest country? What will be my next horizon? All of me is all I've ever wanted. The empire of my soul is rising. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. So this song that I just sang, Empire of My Soul, I wrote while driving yesterday. Uh, I like to write songs when I'm driving. I feel like it's very, I don't know, it's comforting. Either I feel like it, when I'm driving and when I'm in the bath, those are two times when I really like <laughs> writing songs. Um, and so I feel like a, uh, a few days ago I had something like that I would think is probably a soul retrieval experience. I had this experience, this kind of insight or clarity, intuitive insight and clarity, and it brought me back um, to like a part of my soul that I feel like I had been disengaged with for like many, many years for a long time. And I didn't know what it was. I was like, well, this feels great. Like, I feel felt in touch with this sort of sweetness um, and just this soulful part of myself that I had not been in touch with in a long time. And it felt like I had discovered, like, a good third of my soul that I had been, uh, that had been blocked off from me without me even knowing it. And... It was so nice. So I had to, you know, I did some research. I'm like, I feel like I've recovered a part of my soul. And there is like a healing experience. Shamans can do this for people as well. It's called soul retrieval. And so I feel like that's what I experienced. And that's what this song is about. And it's also just about like integrating all the various parts of yourself. Um, and allowing all of those parts to like come together so that your soul can really rise. So I hope that you enjoyed that. The next song that I'm going to sing is Beautiful Soul, which I wrote a while back. And this is funny because I wrote, sometimes I write songs and I don't record them and then I forget them. And maybe a month ago, like, I thought I was starting to write this song and then I realized this is just like something that was in my memory that I had written before. Um, but again, it was like it was in my soul somewhere and I retrieved the song from my soul um and i like this i feel like it is the meanest love song i ever wrote <laughs> and then after this we have a little song snippet called the meanest love song which i've now written in response to this original song uh this first song beautiful soul which i like this song i feel like i would love to hear adam lambert sing it um he sang Cher's uh, Believe, I think that's the name of the song, Do You Believe in Love After Love, at the Kennedy Awards this past year, and it was so beautiful. I feel like he is such a soulful singer. I think he would do a good job with this song, but for now, you're going to hear me sing it. So let's see. <clears throat> you think you found such a beautiful soul. But there are parts of me that you'll never know. You think my heart is so fucking big that I broke these walls and I let you in. I don't know how to tell you. You're still standing in the doorway I've got closets, I've got basements And sweetheart, I'll never let you in You think you 
found such a beautiful soul But there are parts of me that you'll never know You think my heart is so fucking big That I broke these walls when I left you in I don't know how to tell you You're just standing in the doorway I've got closets, I've got basements And sweetheart, I'll never let you in I love you, but I'll never let you in. All right, and last but not least, meanest love song. It was the meanest love song I ever wrote, but I don't mean it anymore. Cause I'm in love with you. I'm in love. It was the meanest love song I ever wrote But I don't mean it anymore Cause I'm in love with you Did you like that, Coco? Was it? Yep, it was good. Thank you.